That's my job. Uh, <laughs> cool. Hi there, welcome to Audio T. As always, I'm your host, Brad, and today I'm joined by David from Cyrus. Hey. Thank you for coming down and joining us. You have brought some toys in Got this it. wonderful monolith, like totem pole of power. We've got the new XR series, but we've also got the new Hark 3 wrap, and this is the first time it's been seen outside of our four walls of uh, Cyrus HQ. Oh, this is exclusive. You know I love an exclusive, people. I'm going to do something, and this is, this is what I like. Oh, cable management. Isn't that cheeky? Look at that. Satisfying. Right, so talk me through what we've got here. So this is the new XR range. Yeah, so um, our classic series of products that you might be familiar with, they've been around for, well, nearly a decade now, um, and we've upgraded them and we've refined them. Um, and, you know, we're still keeping doing that. But the market also, we were getting a lot of customers who had reached the top of their classic series journey. Yeah. They bought all of the products and they wanted something more. They yeah. wanted something extra. Now, all of the upgrades that we've done um, on classic series throughout the years that they've been around... It's taught us, taught us a great deal about um, electronics, mm -hmm. um, and we've had lots of ideas and lots of innovations, almost a decade's worth of material. Mm. Um, and of course, when you upgrade a product, you can't always go back and redesign no. it completely. No. So with 10 years of accumulated knowledge um, on things like power supply, mm -hmm. um, DAC design, and so on, what we wanted was a fresh start, something where we could bring all of that knowledge together mm -hmm. in a new range of products, a new higher end range of products. The performance parameters of XR series are significantly higher than Classic. Yeah. Um, but it is a fresh start. But at the same time, you know, a lot of the technology that we're developing for this as well is mm -hmm. also trickling down to Classic series. I'll talk a bit more about that. But you say that obviously it's, it's all new, all, all lovely, yes. but same chassis. Same basic chassis. The chassis itself is actually part of our DNA. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's, it's easy to make big amplifiers. I'm probably oversimplifying it, yeah. but it's relatively easy to make big aluminium... Um, like just huge slabs of yes, amp. Yes, you know the kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. You've seen them, right? We've seen them. Everyone's seen them. We know what we're A couple of hundred about. pounds of aluminium yeah. and, 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 and lots of exotic components in um, what's really a lot more challenging is to make something that is family friendly, that's room friendly, that mm -hmm. you can live with on a day to day basis. Um, yeah. And that's kind of our niche. That's, that's what Cyrus is about having livable, everyday components that actually sound blissful yeah. in their performance. Because obviously, as you rightly say, it's a, it's a much smaller unit. There's very few amplifiers that are as dinky in width. Obviously, it's got a bit of depth to it. But. Um, would you still suggest that, obviously, for a customer looking to go for the full system, obviously, you've got the separates here. I have seen some customers actually stack them on top of one another, and I'm <laughs> guessing, you know, that's not the design. That's not what we want to do here. We want to isolate everything as best as possible. Isolation is always going to be best. Um, and, and people mix Cyrus components with other products, and that's fine as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can pick and choose, and, and, and of course, everyone in Hi-Fi likes to play and tweak and, yep. and, and get their sound exactly right. Um, but... You know, we get we have customers with maybe 10, 15 products in in, in, in their system, and mm. you get double width racks. This one, this rack can take eight separate units. Okay, so, cool. Um, whilst for the XR series at the moment, we've got two CD players, two integrated amplifiers, a preamplifier. Um, we've got a lot, and I mean a lot more products sort of in development at the moment. So that range will grow out over the next over the next couple of years. Yeah. Brilliant. So um, what are the fundamental differences between the Classic and the XR range that we've got here? Well, I think the big differences um, are power supply. Mm -hmm. um, the power, our, our understanding of power and the, and the way power is supplied to each of the individual sections of each product has being given a very fundamental overhaul. Um, you know, we're, we're looking to achieve signal to noise ratios of 110 dB plus. Yeah. Um, and that's on, 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 on products like the preamplifier. Yeah. And that's, that's achieved with just some really, really deep understanding. I mean, a product that's not released yet, the, uh, the PSU XR, is, a, is an outboard power supply. Yeah. It actually, actually communicates digitally with each individual product um we've 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 hit standby 
Okay, well, sorry for the inconvenience. 20, 20 minutes down by that. <laughs> yeah, so the PSU XR will actually talk digitally to the individual products yep. that, it's, that it's powering. Um, and it's got um, five different power supplies in each one of those boards. Right. Um, that it can, it can actually feed different voltages, specific requirements for each of, each of the sections of the circuits are met by the outboard power supply. And that's, that's absolutely, absolutely yeah, critical that, in, in performance terms. So we're talking intelligent power supply, basically. Really, really. And, and much more so than traditional intelligent yeah. power supplies. And is that something that you would have to go in and set up, or does it actually just automatically do it? No, with no, no. It, it's, it's really smart. It, just, it, it communicates via a, there's like a, a, a bus socket on the back of them. Mm. That, um, um, and each, each of these units has a microprocessor controlling the... Um, uh, Controlling the feed to the various sections, yeah. and that communicates with the with the power supply. Of course, all of them have a robust power supply on them yeah. as well. I mean, actually, you know, Cyrus as a brand um, actually bought a little prop with me. This uh, this is one of our toroidal transformers. What you find is um, most manufacturers these days mm. they manufacture one product that they can then sell all around the world. Yeah. Um, but what that means is, of course, you've got different power supplies in each in each country, and therefore you need to have multiple primary taps um, so most most even high end hi-fi manufacturers you'll use dual primary so they can switch between 110 volt yeah. 115 240 volt um, without changing transformers we don't do that right I mean our our products actually use a separate transformer for each different voltage version of our products okay. because they sound better yeah and that's the kind of nth degree that we're trying to trying to go to in in in, in, in eking out every little bit of performance from the product so with XR the the main focus from what you've just said is power power equals sound power is definitely the the, the most important thing mm. it's like it's like a chef and having those raw materials, those raw ingredients, and the most important raw ingredient in 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 audio is power. Yeah, brilliant. So, talk us through what we've actually got here, then. So, up here we have the CDI XR. This is the um, this is the if you like top end CD players. This mm -hmm. is an integrated CD player, so it's got digital outputs and analog outputs. So, it's got a built in DAC. Brilliant. I'll talk a bit more about that in a second. Um, here we have the i9, which is our more powerful integrated amplifier, and we have the i7 here as well. Um, we haven't bought the full uh, the full continuum. I've got rooms. Yeah, I've exactly. got room for them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, uh, so yeah, that's what we've got here on display today. Brilliant. So, with having the DAC in the CD player, pro presumably that just opens it up to be used with other equipment, not just Cyrus. It does. It does. But again, there's a little bit of difference. So, so one of it, of course, power is very important. The other thing, uh, the other thing that's that's come on leaps and bounds in the last decade or so is is DAC technology. Mm -hmm. um, now, about a, a year ago, we released uh, our QXR upgrade mm -hmm. for a lot of our classic products. Now, what people might not know is that the QXR upgrade was actually derived from the work that we were doing on developing this range. Yeah. So this is this is the XR. Um, and this uses a QXR Generation 2 DAC. So what we've done is we've taken, you know, again, because of the power management that we can apply to these products, we've reworked that DAC, <coughs> that DAC section. So it's ultra high resolution. It can do 768, 32-bit, uh, mm -hmm. no problem at all, DSD 512. It's as high resolution as you can possibly want. But much, much more importantly, um, the filter stages, the implementation of that DAC is quite different. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, obviously you're uh, familiar with the use of FPGA mm -hmm. um, yeah. DACs and, and, and kind of one of the benefits of the, that kind of DAC technology is that it has this really long filter tail. Right. So, um, you know, it used to be the, back in the olden day when you had a, had a DAC, you had a hard cut off just past what was perceived to be the audio audible range, about 20, 22 kilohertz or whatever. You'd have a brick wall or a hard, some, some really heavy filter yeah. slope to try and take out uh, all of the other electronics noise. Um, these days, um, if, you can, if you can have a really, really shallow filter slope, what it does is it prevents the ripples going back into the, into, into the audible range yeah. and it gives you a much, much cleaner sound. Um, and, and that's the kind of principle that we've applied in the filtering and the calibration of the DACs that we've used in the, in, in, in the QXR and in this, the second generation QXR version. Well, they look fantastic, I can tell you that much. And I do love the, the stand that we've got going here. Um, CDs, it, it amazes me because obviously um, 
so many customers of, of Audio T are still huge CD collectors, and you know, as a digital format a lot of people prefer that over streaming. I think it comes down to the whole listening to an album in its entirety, you know. I'm a massive vinyl nerd. I love listening to an album. Yeah. You know, you don't skip tracks and if you do, you know, you might go back and listen to a whole album again and go, God, why do I skip this track? It's great. And uh, obviously, do, do Cyrus have a, because um, obviously a lot of potentially your competitors yeah. have uh, sort of storage units for CDs so you can rip them and you can, you know, store it without having to rummage through the shelves. Do you have anything like that currently? or We don't, we don't. It's, it's, it's native CD playback rather than CD ripping and storage. Mm. Um, and the truth is there aren't many um, really, really good CD players around anymore. And, and we're one of the very best out there. And we're also quite, um, quite different from everyone else in that we actually make our own uh, transport and mechanism um, our servo mm. uh, is, is completely dedicated. We use um, uh, we use what's called our servo e- evolution technology. And what this basically does is um, slows slows everything down. So mm. it, it, you know most most CD players these days, even high end ones, are using uh, using DVD mechs or yeah. things that are working really really quickly. As as works really quite slowly, yeah. or relatively speaking, of course. Um, but it really trying to read that data accurately. Yeah. And, and first time. So slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race, but also has ha, ha, has less digital artifacts mm. because every time, like when, when you've got a transport moving really, really fast, um, every time that motor's skipping backwards and forwards, it's adding noise. Mm. Every time it's rereading data, it's adding noise. Every time it's adding error, error correction, it, it, the, the, the sound is, is getting... Is getting changed even it's even if it's a removed. small amount. Yeah. So our, our, the principle with our CD player, and the reason why Cyrus CD players are famed around the world, is that we are a hundred percent focused on reading the ac- information accurately first time, and uh, and and in as high purity as uh, as possible. Brilliant. So, was there anything else feature wise that these bad boys can bring to the table? Um, feature wise, I. I we try and keep things as simple as possible. Yes, we've got the we've got these new filters that are available, you know, to try and reverse um, the filters that we use during the re- recording process. Yep. Now that can be quite challenging because obviously you need to know what filter was used in the recording process. Yes. And in in European and in the UK in particular, that's very rarely published. In Japan, it's different, of course. Yeah. Um, but really, this is this system is all about quality. So things I actually I, I, I bought a little board with me, but things like you know using relay switching. So we have individual relays for each of the inputs. Yeah. Um, um, it has things like Scott key diodes, um, which are, are really good quality capacitors. Mm. So you know it's it's the first time our our research and development team has more or less. Been given a carte blanche over uh, over the design of a product. Yeah. You know, obviously we have to have some restrictions. Um, you know, our, our, the bean counters are, are, are constantly, <laughs> no, no, don't be silly. You can't have that in the in the product. But by and large, this is this is what our our development team wanted in the product. Well, you know, you've got Tony Stark's arc reactor <laughs> going on there. So you know, I remember that from Iron Man One. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, yeah. it's quite, a beast quite of a beast. unit, that isn't it? So, wow, you know, I think the. <laughs> These are going to be available in quite a few of the Audio T stores. I know Southampton are really excited to get their hands on them. Um, if even if your local Audio T doesn't stock Cyrus, you can still borrow it from another store to demo it. So don't let that put you off. I think with anything like this, the proof is in the pudding. You've got to listen to it. So get down to your local store, have a listen, see what you think of it. Um, we want to hear your feedback as well. So if you've if you've heard this, leave us a comment. We want to hear what you you think of it, and you know. Come and join us in store. Like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And David, thank you so much for coming down today. You're very um, welcome. Been a pleasure. I'm keeping this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can store baguettes in there. That's lovely. That. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, it is cable management. But we can discuss that at a later date. Maybe we'll have another review. A full-on video. We'll get a full rack. How about that? Sounds good. Do you great. want to come back? Yep. I didn't scare him off. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.